There we go. Oh, that looks promising. Oh, no, I went to throw it. No, that was rolled out of the... Hey, I did it! Nice! I wonder if there's, like, an achievement for getting all the balls into the hole. Maybe if I sink the cue ball. Uh, no. Well, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna waste time playing billiards here. I've got children to find. Though I do love a game of billiards. Billiards! Okay... Doesn't appear to be too much going on in here. Just a door there. Sit. Is this the same dining room? It looks like it. Yeah, I think it must be. How did we end up back here? Oh dear. My direction's failing me once again. Oh well, yeah, duh, because we came just back out of that that one room, so. That would make sense. Yeah, we just came back from, from there. But, uh, is this door unlocked? Uh, no. It just slammed shut on its own. So, that's not the best. Uh, let's see here. Uh, go back out this way, I guess. For the shot. Try the other door in the hallway here. So we went through that one last time. That door's locked. Hmm, excuse me. Oh, no, we went through that door last time. My mistake. That's the billiards room. Want to go to this one this time. Is this door unlocked? No, it's not. There's, however, a bathroom here. Uh, can I flush the toilet? No. Old-fashioned toilet there. Um... There's some impressive locks on these things. Uh, a chair. We need to bathe the chair. No. Candlestick. Okay, not really much in here, if I'm honest. Uh, so... <laughs> Let's read the note. Bears and bathtubs. See, that's what I thought. Find af and after the party, she took my arm. How did you get from the trophy room to the guest bathroom so quickly? My darling, as for mine, well, it also has secret chambers. To the guest bathroom. How did you get from the trophy room to the guest bathroom? See, I'm thinking that there's going to be a secret passage, like... Maybe I have to flush myself down the toilet or something. I'm not seeing anything in here, though. So maybe I'm wrong. But then why would I need to come down this corridor to the bath? Oh, a note. I am to have a visitor. The distinguished professor, professor A. Professor A. He has come to ascertain my mental well-being after my prolonged absence from the club. But I'm not stupid. He is here to spy for them. When they stalked the Kipper, he was often called to pontificate upon lacerations and missing organs. And now he comes to me, to doff and wheedle and, my dear sir, and, but you must still grieve, and perhaps just a quick look at your engines, the triumph of the age. He knows nothing of loss, nothing of sacrifice. But to refuse, that would simply poke the hornet's nest, and invite a swarm of interlopers and thieves. I must entertain this buffoon and submit to his intrusion. Perhaps I should show him the tripery, see whether his stomach, so trained by rummaging in the innards of clumsily bisected whores, is strong enough to stare into the real engines of this golden age. I may even introduce him to Jack, or his sons at least. Jack! Just like Uncle Jack, like I was telling you guys about. <laughs> see? I, uh, I have a uh, precognizance or something. We have strong locks on the windows now and we bring their toys to them. Huh. So Jack's sons are like demons. This guy has a psychiatrist coming over and he's being all paranoid about it because he's schizophrenic and kind of crazy. Which is understandable. So, yeah, there's that. Uh, we got the note. Can I open something now? I'm really set on flushing this toilet as the lever, but apparently not. There's the chair in the bathtub. 
Okay, well, I'm just gonna give that up then. Apparently there's nothing in here. And, uh, just go explore some other rooms, I guess. The billiards room! Oh, my favorite room! What is this? Oh, a new hallway. Is it? Ah. Hello, Mr. Robot. Mandus. Do you know Mandus. Sounds like madness. Where are my children? Said that awfully calm. Mandus. Far below oh dear. The machine is fouled. It is breached. It is fouled. Oh no. The bulkheads are down. The children are engaged. If you help me, I can help you release them. Oh dear. Restore the power, Mandus. Drain the flooding and restart the great the engines. engines. How? Where should I go? Hello? 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 I mean, it's obvious that he hung up on me, so I don't know why I'm still talking. People always do that in movies. Ah. Okay, can't seem to open this gate. So, nothing out here, actually. Just move on, I get. Oh, this is the dining room. This door, I must have missed it. Okay. Uh. Hmm. Not sure where to go now. There's, uh. That painting again. Oh boy. Oh, maybe this door's unlocked now. Nope. It's a pipe dream there. Uh, why don't we check down in here again just to be safe? Make sure I didn't miss anything. I'm pretty sure I didn't. I mean, I can't open that. Could give this another twist, maybe. No, that's stuck now. Uh, I can hear myself scribbling things. So I was a genius in my own right, but also kind of insane. As geniuses often are. Um... any geniuses watching, I'd like to apologize. Not all of you are insane, of course. Uh, okay. Just continue on, I guess, for now. Well, continue on, obviously, but to where do we continue is the question. Okay, this would be the billiards room. Oh, I'm getting stuck. Oh, man, I'm just going around in circles, aren't I? That door's locked. Oh, okay, that's the bathroom. Down here would be the billiards room, which is open, again, for one reason or another. Could have sworn I closed it. Oh! An audiograph player. Was that here before? I must say, my dear man, you, you look awful. Yes, I... I seem to have picked up something rather... Oh, awful. yeah. Don't drink the water. I do understand what you've been through. A lesser man would have crumbled. Yet you have made all of this. Your great factory, your charities. It is a wonder for one man and It will all be made clear, Professor. But first, a drink. Yes, please. I trust you haven't poisoned it. <laughs> yes. Okay, uh, let's see. Paintings. Paintings, 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 paintings. So many paintings, all repeating each other. It's like a Minecraft house, seriously. Uh, okay. I don't know what I'm doing, I'm going kind of stir-crazy. This is enjoyable, but not really scary so far. Okay, back around this way, I guess. Sure, why the hell not? I could have sworn that audiograph player wasn't there before. And if that's the case, then some other things might have changed. So, I'm going to head back to the bathroom. <laughs> I know I'm dead set on the bathroom being the solution. Nope, still can't flush it. Ugh. Really? Yeah, well, nothing's different. I can't even open up the toilet lid. There's some sort of... Ew, is that dentures or something? Well, I'm not going to investigate that any further. That door's still locked. Okay. Uh, hmm. Any notes? 
From the trophy room to the guest bathroom. No, we already we already know that the tro the trophy room secret exit thing. So that's quite fun. I like that they put it in the physics of that. Um, I'm just gonna. Sorry about this, but okay, yeah. I just wanted to check that the brightness was as high as it goes because it's looking a bit dark even for me. I think that's probably the. Oh, just realized we haven't checked upstairs. Anyway, I I think that that's probably because uh, the glare on my computer screen, but whatever. Okay. Uh, oh, of course, because from um, my my own he says my own room has secret uh, shit as well. So probably have to go back to the bedroom. Is this it? No, I can't seem to interact with that door. Okay. Head on this way then. The sun is shining directly onto me from the attic. Which, uh, in, in real life, by the way. And uh, it's making me rather hot. <laughs> it's like covering my whole body. And it's quite annoying. There's no air conditioning up here. So I might, I might need to call the episode. <laughs> because I'm getting overheated. As is my computer. And you can probably hear the computer humming away. But uh, let's try and get to the next area before we, we call it. Uh, I don't know. I can't seem to open any of these doors. They all, they're all they all locked. Like, you can't open a door that has that weird design on it. I've concluded that much. Um, no. Nope. Nothing. Okay. Well, hmm, shucks. I guess the only other thing to do is uh, check out the trophy room again, which I guess makes sense. Maybe I missed something in the corridor preceding the machine room. So, that's where we'll go, I guess. Um, is this the way? No, it isn't. This is where the audiograph player was. Oh! No, the gate's still closed. I was like, wait, maybe the gate is open. But nope. No such luck. Ah, the billiards room. How I love a game of billiards. blah blah blue blah blue Okay, back this way. Yippee. Skip. Is this door unlocked? No, it's not. I have to check every single time. Oh, wait, why am I going to the bathroom? Try and flush it just for fun? No. Okay, we're actually trying to go to the trophy room. I forgot. <laughs> Back out this way. I know I'm just wandering, wandering around in circles. Wandering, even. Um, okay, this is the trophy room. Very good. Very good, very good. Okay. We should probably have this on. No, it doesn't look like there's anything else here. It's just straight from the trophy room into this thing. So I'm guessing the secret passage from the guest bathroom to the trophy room is just that little hallway outside type thing. So no significance there, really. I can't interact with any of these other things. Uh, God, I'm lost as usual. Sorry. Sorry, guys. It happens far too often in amnesia playthroughs of mine. Damn it. There's nothing I can do. I swear. Does this is this another lever gun? No. Apparently not. Oh, oh, a violin. Nice. Fancy a bit of violin or some cello perhaps. A bit of piano, some more violins. My god, there are a lot of violins here. I like the sound of a violin. That door's locked. I'm guessing the other one is too. Oh, have we tried to just leave out the front? Nope, those are locked. That one looks locked. Yep. Okay. Uh, check the billiards room again. Some red wine stained there. 
billiards. Do we have to actually, like, play billiards in order for the next room to unlock? I doubt it. That audiograph player doesn't do anything. Nice. Nothing but net. That doesn't do anything anymore. Pool, the pool cues don't do anything. Pool cues. There's nothing. There's a photograph there that doesn't do anything. I can't open that. This door is still locked. That's like the fourth time I've checked. Uh, there's a coat. Can't flush the toilet. Can't grab the candlesticks. Oh, there's a painting. Oh! 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 It was the pa the solution was the paintings. Damn it! And this pulls the lever. Ah! Oh, and the chair sort of disappeared there. Well, color me stupid. God damn it! <laughs> there were so many paintings around. I didn't think to interact with them. Also, there's blood here. What's that thing? Is that my bedroom? I think it is. Well, maybe not. I th I'm guessing that I woke up in my bedroom and this isn't it, so... Maybe it's my kid's bedroom or something. But there's some weird-looking pile on the bed there. Uh... Well, whatever. Okay, there's blood-stained hallways here. Another valve. Let's give that a twist. I'm guessing that, like the last valve, it's gonna change some things in the... in the in the world so I can go back now um alright back out I'm hoping that something's changed oh right, yeah the lights flickering both lights are flickering ah Ooh, I actually screamed in terror there <laughs> sorry but holy crap that kinda freaked me out Oh, and this is the... Oh, great. Hands are bleeding. Raw. I scrub and scrub, but the smell will not lift. How can I hold my children with these hands now? How can I kiss them goodnight with lips that have issued such instruction? Okay. You're freaking me out now, buddy. So, whatever that weird pile was, it ran down the hallway and kind of uh, scared me a bit. That's the first time I think I've actually, like, really screamed in, uh, in Amnesia. So, good job, Amnesia. Oh, a poem. I like a good poem. Old Sally I, the doll's cottager. Cottager. Oh, she come a-snufflin' by night round ye door, with her pretty apron right down to the hoof. And her ringlets are fair, and her eyes china blue, like a half-buried sand in the wintry snow, oh. Like a hand in the wintry snow. And she'll beg you for apples through the window ajar, her face be all hidden, but her eyes shine a flame. And though you'll be tempted, her bosom so fair, she'll snatch you and catch you and eat out your heart, oh. She'll catch you and eat out your heart. Okay, kind of creepy. So look to your manners come the eve of the year, lest Sally comes calling for apples, my dear, and know that some doors near should open wide, take heed of your father and keep safe inside. Disobedient children make Sally her pies, oh, and warn Sally's beastly insides. Okay, great. So that's like a cautionary tale for kids. There's a demonic horse that will eat you if you disobey your parents. And uh, something tells me that this thing was Sally the horse. And she's going to eat out my heart oh, Which I'm not looking forward to. Oh, that's the, that's the same hallway, isn't it? We're outdoorsy bit. Here's the billiards room. As fair and lovely as ever. Let us check the gate. That one gate. I think it's here see if it's yep it's open I figured alrighty on to new territory then thank God I, am off the mark. I will cry all the way home I will cry all the way home I will have none I will have none at all none none what 
It sounds like he's crying about like not getting something, like just being greedy. Like, oh, I'm get no no soup for me. Bleh, I'm so sad. Yeah. That's my impression. Okay, so shall we rotate this? No, we can't. Oh, this must be the two rooms that we were in before with the gates. Yeah, and those were the two things that we. <gasps> Hooray! Oh, metal ticking as it cools and contracts. This must be the strange machine my new friend told me of. If my children discover this place, it is entirely conceivable they strayed downwards, delighted in their discovery. Very well, it seems my route is predestined. The descent begins. Yes. To the children. There are children that are so unwell. They have to live their lives in hospitals. They feel in hospital, in hospital. Children getting sicker. Drinking too much bubble mixture. All right, I'll stop there. You should listen to that song, though. It's pretty great. It's called Feel Inside. It was written for charity. And written by kids, kind of. Anyway, <laughs> that's irrelevant to the issue at hand, which is that I'm outside, and I'm not sure where to go. Down here, I guess. Come and see, Papa. We found an egg. A stone egg. A stone egg. Eggs are not made of stone. Silly children. What you're thinking of is a rock. Ah! Oh dear. That's not good. Not good in the slightest. Okay, hey, another jump cut, because we had a loading screen there, but that's alright. Uh, in any case, I think this is a good place to call the episode. Um, so thank you all for watching very much. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, I'm going to continue this playthrough. Even if people don't like it, it's kind of required of me because I did a, the first game. So I will be doing this probably every other day and then release uh, Minecraft or uh, Papers, Please in between. So yeah, that's the basic idea. Once again, thank you all for watching. And um, yeah, hit like, subscribe if you want to. And uh, I'll catch you next time. Goodbye.